Hello champions! So we're gonna have a preview for China, the ninth wonder of the world. Again, this is not my China. She was lent to me by Scopely, so I can do this preview. I don't get to keep her. So she is a powerhouse and we're gonna see her at four star gold. Now the first move set we're gonna have a look at is gonna be the red, red, purple two. It is the power bomb, 10 MP red move finisher, deals 31.3k damage, destroy the center column and pin the opponent. The end spring back elbow is a 9 MP red move, deals 18.9k damage and make the bottom three rows into blast gems. And the Hurricane Rana is an 8 MP purple move that deals 16.9k damage and choose a 3x2 area to swap into red gems. Trainers are gonna be Woods and Sting to start with more reds and purple. And I got X-Pac and Jordan as coaches. Could use also X-Pac and DX Sean, but since she's a woman, well, they kinda tend to always face submissions, so I kinda like to have Jordan there. Pretty straightforward move set. You gotta basically use the Hurricane Rana as soon as possible to get that red ready. Then do the back elbow to make the bottom three rows into Blast Gem. And then just use a finisher that's gonna destroy the center column, which is gonna blast the bottom four rows. So let's go see. We're gonna do the match against Ronda Rousey. Right. Well, that's perfect. We got purple right on the start. I don't even need to use my... And I got an extra turn. <laughs> I don't even need to use my purple right now, so we're gonna make those bottom rows. was a cool move. And now we'll do the finisher. Booyah! Suck it! <laughs> but she's a, she's a striker, so of course she's gonna kick out. Alright. Put that here. And we're gonna do it again. Does it mean it would look like Ronda lost both her arms during that move? I'll have to rewatch that. It kinda looked like she was missing arms. And should she should be out now. Booyah! <laughs> That's a two turn win. One, two, that was very effective. <laughs> very effective. All right, well, it was pretty cool. I kind of, I kind of want to do another one of those just to see if it was a fluke or if it always works like that. So we're going to do a second match with that spec. I need one L pack. All right, so this time I don't have purple, so it's gonna take more time this time. I'm gonna use this right away. I 
That's why I wanted to use Jason Jordan. There you go. Now I'm going to get the red. Oops. I overdid that one. Still not a problem. Yeah, she definitely does not have arms during that animation. I'll have to flag it to them. <laughs> And now the power bomb, which should end the match. And it's over. So even though this one is a perfect example that not everything went well because I had a problem getting my mana for the, my MP for the first two turns, it still was pretty damn easy fight against Ronda. Definitely great moveset. So let's have a look at something else now. All right, guys, let's have a look at a different moveset. This time it's going to be the other tree move, the green, green, purple one. It is a DDT. 8 MP green move, deal 18.1k damage, and choose 3 column break to destroy. The Gorilla press drop, which is 8 MP green move, deal 21k damage, and make 4 random gems into column break gems. And the Pedigree 8 MP purple move, deal 17.7k damage, and choose 4 gems to make into green gems. Trainers are going to be Xavier Woods to start with more MP, and a Rezar, so that or choose move is a choose eight. I got Triple H to help with the green. And actually, you know what? I'm going to switch Triple H and I'm going I'm to put Shawn Michaels instead. Because it is a choose green, so I'm probably not going to have any issues getting my green. And the Shawn Michaels will help to reload that purple. And I got Jason Jordan again to help with submissions. So you could always go with uh, someone like Farouk to have more columns, but you really don't need that much. Because if, if you have more columns, then you might have an issue getting that green. But I'll probably try it out because it is a choose after all. So maybe you're not going to have that issue getting green. So who knows? So let's try it. Versus Ronda again, about the same talent. All right, purple here. Let's choose that green. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and let's put the other one here. Got a good cascade right there. Okay. Make four gems into column. And ideally, you want to pick column that you're going to have purples. This one has one, this one has one. Fortunately, neither of the other one have any. Gonna pick this one mainly because this one has a wild card, so it wouldn't give me anything.
Find some mission. Okay. This thing, this purple. Get out of that. Choose eight green. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's over. All right, that worked well. I kind of like the first move set better, but that definitely worked well. The first move set might be a little more reliable. This one, you could potentially get screwed if you can't reload that purple. I'm going to try. Instead, using Farouk, I don't think it's going to be better. I'm going to give it a shot. That'll make six. I'll have more to choose from. And it's still a choose four. So it should be more than enough to get me what I need. All right, let's try that. I did not update my graphics saying that now we're not using Rezor, we're using Farouk instead. But you get the ID. All right, so we don't have any purple. Let's get green here, I guess. Okay. Right. Now we got the purple. We would have had it next turn anyway. That was my choose four. One, two, three, four. Um, all right, so now I'm going to make six. Got a little more to choose from. This one's going to give me two. This is going to give me one. This is going to give me one. That really that reloaded the green. Let's put back those. I still have one that remains. One here. Two. Three. There's four on the same row. Didn't do much damage though. He's gonna get an extra turn. Uh, 
Uh, trying not to burn my uh, greens and purples. <laughs> Alright. Choose four. Mm, let's do one, two, three, four. I'll give me eight. That's enough to do it again. One, two, three. And it's all. That worked well too. Uh, that moves that pretty much looks similar whether you use Farouk or Rezar as a secondary character. Uh, I still do like the first moveset better though. Right, let's look if I can uh, figure out another moveset. Well, you know, when I was a little girl, I only wanted to be a princess. But now I'm all grown up and tonight, I'm gonna be a queen. Alright guys, so I played around with different moveset. Really none other than the two I tried work well. Well, it's more that the two I tried work really, really well, so there's really no point using any other than those two. I want to try a different thing though as far as trainers for the, fur the first moveset I did. The red, red, purple two. Uh, I want to try... Well, first, I completely forgot to use Re Mysterio as a coach the last time, and Mysterio, it's basically... 25% more damage for Blast Gem, and she fills the bottom tree row with Blast Gem, so definitely a must to use, so shame on me for that. <laughs> Second thing, instead of using Sting as a secondary trainer, I'm going to try to use Slick Rick so that the Color Gem do 20% more damage each. That should do a significant boost on damage, so let's, let's try it with that moveset instead. The red might be slower to fuse uh, to fuel, but everything should do a lot more damage. Right, so I don't have purple. Let's get red. Still don't have purple. Let's get red. I won't need the purple because I'll have both red. <laughs> Alright, let's test that out. By the way, about that animation where she's missing arm, they were already aware of it and it should be fixed later. Alright, let's see how much that does. 148k, that's not too bad, although there was not any of her main colors gem in there. Alright, submission. Okay, let's get some red. Probably gonna end my turn. Right, and this will end the match. And that's it. Good night. All right, so that works pretty well as well. <laughs> this move set is definitely my favorite. It seems just so much more reliable and less dependent on the board. Although the board will 
basically be the one that dictate how much damage you're gonna do with those blast gems so still dependent but it looks like you're gonna need to run it twice anyway All right, so that's it with China. So, I mean, I haven't had a single bad match with any of those two movesets. So, definitely love her. Uh, I hope I'll be able to get her. <laughs> so, that's it, guys. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. If you have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. G out.